Hey, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Happy Art Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We're, 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 <laughs> we're resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. Full. Re rehomers of stuff. And we do this full time. This is yes. all we do. We find things, we rehome them to new people that appreciate them yeah. and want them, and we make a living at it somehow. Yeah. Uh, we've had, it's Monday morning. We have a full range of emotions today. We got good news on eBay. We got bad news on eBay. We got some good sales on eBay. We got some lackluster sales on eBay. We've had the full gamut already this morning. Sales, returns. Yeah, we got uh, everything going offers, on. Offers, no offers. Yep. All that stuff. But, but anyway, whatever, we're just going to deal with everything. We're yeah. going to keep moving and we're going to keep listening. We're going to keep selling and we're going to keep shipping. And we got some new pins to yes, show Yes, we you. got some new pins. Let's jump to that now. Map. How many we got? Five? Five, I think. I think we have five. Let me see. Oklahoma coming in strong Oklahoma. today. Donna's already put the pins on the map. I did. Yeah. Okay, first off, we have Davis Art Studios in Seward. Yeah, which That's Seward is here. right by the cluster there. They're close to Lincoln. And we have Jay in Tulsa, Oklahoma, which is right there. Yep. We I'll have just... Beyond Leftovers in Enid. Yeah, I'm just going to leave Oklahoma. it on Oklahoma because Enid is right there. Yep. We have Cindy in Fairland, Oklahoma. And Tammy in Stillwater. Yeah. Fairland is it's way up in the top corner. Up here and Stillwater is right there. Look at that. Four Oklahomas today. Four out of five were Oklahomas. Thank you to everybody and the Seward. Thank you. Thank you for everybody who puts their name and their um, location. It helps us fill the map. If you want to, obviously, Nebraska, we have the most pins because, you know, we're from here. But I tell you what, Oklahoma just came in real strong. And North Carolina. Missouri and North Carolina over here. Virginia, we got four. Even a few, like a yeah. lot in Washington. We got and way up there up in, in Canada. the top. So yeah, if you want to see your state be well more better represented or represented at all, <laughs> comment below where you're watching from. Yes. We have an update. Oh my goodness, you guys. I, I, I'm just now checking my Facebook page. Ron. Ron, I'm so sorry. Two weeks ago, Ron left a message. Hello, Ron here, longtime viewer and buyer and keep on picking from Goshen, Ohio. Ron, I'm so sorry I missed you. We're yes. putting it on. I want to see this. If Go I ahead. can reach it. Reach, reach. Right in there. Reach. And that is our first Ohio pin right Yay. there. So thank you, Ron. All right. Now we'll so get back. So sorry. To, now, I missed that. Yes, thank you. Now we'll get back to the video. Okay. All right, we have, I think, 25 things or so to ship out. So we're going to get pulling the items, and then we'll kind of tell you about everything that's going on eBay, all our little experiences the last few days. So let's get going. All right, first up, well, we just bought this last week. This is uh, in Box 70. In Box 70. All right, in here it should all be one baggie with a whole bunch of stuff in it. Is it this? It is! Oh, my goodness. You want to get it all out and set it up or no. just pop up a picture? pop up a picture. This is the Nativity, and it sold the same day we listed it. Really? And I think we got that like a week ago today or a week ago We tomorrow. got that in Kansas, you guys. Yep, that sold for $28.99. The Fisher Price Nativity. Donna paid $10 for that and is going to Iowa. Next up in box, LW. LW. This one's heavy. Yeah, you were looking for milk glass. Uh, it says there's two sets of three, three sets available. So we need one set of these milk glass serving sets. Let's, should I pop a picture up of that too? Or you want to get them out? Let's pop up a picture, yeah. All right, here's what it looks like. It's uh, three, what is this? Three snack tray sets with plates trays and cups and this sold for $26.99 Donna got those for $4.50 a set at a garage sale and they are going to Virginia we have two clothing items let's go grab those All right we have two pair of jeans that have been listed a long long time one of them sold for eight dollars and seven cents and the other one sold these are on clearance obviously the other sold for five dollars and ninety nine cents so they are going out the door Okay, okay, you guys, there's a topic of conversation here because <laughs> I started to talk and say something and then our phones went beep, 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 beep. And Steve says start over because he doesn't want you to hear noises 
on our phones when we when we you know video or dogs barking or dogs barking and i said that's just part of real life and we do a a real life like blog vlog thing here for you so i didn't want to start over but he made me start over because he's mean <laughs> Mean, I'm mean. <laughs> so <laughs> how anyway. does she even put up with me? I'm so mean to her. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I will start over. That clothes sales brings us to another topic, and that is what return. What do we have the most returns for? Clothes and shoes. Clothes and shoes for why? Because they don't fit. Because they don't fit. So either the tags are lying, the measurements are lying, or. I don't know. Is this a problem for you guys? Do you have a lot of returns on clothes and shoes? Okay, so just so you know how we set things up, we don't do free returns. We, especially because of clothes, uh, we do buyer pays if it's an issue that's not our fault. Obviously, if you have something returned because it didn't fit or it's bro not because it didn't fit, because it's broken or not as described, uh, you have to pay the shipping back. But for clothing and shoes, we don't. If it's a did not fit, then the buyer has to pay the shipping back because that is most of our returns, honestly, is didn't fit. clothing and shoes. Wrong size. And we have, we got a return at the beginning of the weekend for a pair of Miss Me jeans. I think it was Miss Me. Let me look. Okay, we have a pair. So it's a pair of Miss Me jeans that was started to return last week for didn't fit reason for $26.99. And so they'll send them back. Now we do measurements. All of our listings, we do measurements. All the jeans I do, I measure the waist and I show it. I measure the inseam and I show it. Uh, and usually the rise, sometimes the length at the bottom of the cuff. Um, but anyway, they said didn't fit. So that's coming back. It's already shipped. And now this morning, last week, I think it was on video, we sent a brand new pair of Cole Haan shoes out. And they put their, they started to return today and said it didn't fit as intended. And so that's like $44. So what do you do? I mean, they'll pay for the return and you know, whatever. So that's kind of a bummer. That's not something you want to wake up to. Okay, Donna said we could show you here. So here's our listing. Here's how I list jeans. Um, at the very end, I take all these different pictures, close-ups and everything. And then at the very end, I do, I show the measurement across the waist. And I show, here's the rise. And then there should be inseam also. Yep. And then also at the very bottom, I show that. So that's how... I list jeans and so and you show I mean the tag. and yeah and I show the tag and everything else every any detail I can find I show and so that's how we list jeans so when we get a did not fit uh, jeans are hard man I mean I've never measured a pair of my jeans so I couldn't tell you what my measurements are so I guess all that just to say um, if you list clothes do your due diligence I know a lot of people do free returns and that's fine if it works for them hey great yeah but we don't that's just what we do and we don't do free returns on anything they say you know you can get more sales or whatever we just it's just not worth it for us right so uh, anyway let's get back to pulling orders okay all right next up is a piece of media Donna sold and she didn't put it in the media cabinet it's in box 74 <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. I don't care that she didn't put it in the media cabinet, but because you have to go up the stairs. Okay. Two floors. No, no, no. The media cabinet. Oh, that one. That cabinet. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Justin Bieber CD. It's new and sealed. And this sold for eighteen dollars ninety nine cents, and it is going to. Oh, it's going international to Norway. Nice. So Norway apparently has some believers. Is that what they call it? Believers. Believers. Is it Believers? I don't know. The Bieber Just heads. Bieber fans. <laughs> All right, next up a great sale in box 54. I like this one. 54 is over here. <clears throat> Timber. The boxes we had fell over. Yeah, we got a lot of boxes going on. Uh, you're looking for Baby by Hershrenier's Turtle Stack Pre Quilted Stamped Cross Stitch. I don't even know. Stamped Cross All that stitch. stuff. Oh, they're that super there? cute. That they right there, Donna got for a dollar. And it's over $36.99. It's going to Texas. We have two left of this brand. Yeah. So hopefully the they teddy sell Teddy bears. Some. And then look at these little dinosaurs. Yeah, that's pretty cute there. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay, I have a little story. So this, this video is basically the ups and downs of 
eBay selling because we're kind of feeling all of the and in the life of Steve and Donna the back and forth that he's going to cut out yeah <laughs> yeah and me clipping video parts um so uh, yesterday Donna says I need boxes to because I'm out of boxes in the garage to list and put things in you know these boxes and as, as, I've, as I've described in the last few videos uh, I'll go in and I'll take a full shelf and I'll do inventory and I'll consolidate everything move things in other boxes change them on the computer to empty boxes for her. So and yesterday- And explain to them what that means in the- What that means on the computer is uh, there each item has a custom SKU and that's where you put information uh, that you wanna put in there so you know where to find it or you know where you got it or how much you paid for it. You can just any information you wanna put. All of our info, all of our custom SKUs have like the box number in there. Mm -hmm. So I would move things to empty a box. I'd move them to another box and change it on the computer to put what the new box is. So anyway. Yesterday I'm doing that and I did a shelf that has 10 boxes on it and I'm going through and so even the boxes that I don't empty, I pull up and I just check the inventory because this is me doing inventory too. And so I'm moving all the stuff over and I'm like, I found this paperweight right here. Ooh, it's beautiful, especially with Snoop Dogg behind it. Cool, huh? <laughs> so I found this paperweight and I was like... This isn't in the box. It's not here. Like, so I'm thinking it's not listed. So I searched all of our listings. I searched glass. I searched paperweight. I searched paperweight. I searched blue. I searched all these things and I couldn't find it. So I took it to the garage and I was like, there I found something that wasn't listed. So my intent last night, I took pictures of stuff for dollar auction. I only do that like once a week now, maybe twice. And I had this on my desk and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to put it on dollar auction. We get a few bucks for it, whatever. I'm just going to move it. So last night I take all these pictures and I go inside. I had it sitting there on my table. I go inside the list. I tell Donna, I'm going in to post on dollar auction. And I stopped and I saw it sitting there. And I thought, I should take a picture of that too and throw it on. And then I thought, I'll do it next time. No big deal. So fast forward, I, no big deal. It's just sitting there. Fast forward to this morning. I'm looking through to see what all we sold, and the reason it wasn't listed is because it sold. I didn't even realize. He almost resold a sold, sold item. <laughs> yeah, I almost sold this on the dollar auction <clears throat> before I shipped it out. But fortunately, and the buyer even said thank you in the comments. So <laughs> I'm so glad I I found that out. Cool. It is cool, and it sold for twenty dollars, <laughs> and it's going to New York. So I hope you love your paperweight. If you ever see this video. Um, I'm so glad that it's going to you and not as on the dollar auction. All right, let's do another media item that's not in the drawer because I pulled it out already. It's right behind you. This is a VHS tape. This is Jurassic Jurassic World, The Lost World Jurassic Park. And it is new and it is sealed. And this sold for $7 and a penny. And a penny. And it's going to Texas. All right, next is from the Fire Buy in box 112. We really like the Fire Buy. If you've been watching for a while, we really like the fire buy. That was a great buy, and we're really, we need to find another fire buy. <laughs> All right, right there, Micro Machines. That's it. This Micro Machine Planet Micro Hot Wheels, $17.99, and it is going to Washington. So, do you guys have any superstitions? Like what? Touch it and it will sell. Look at it and it will sell. Touch yeah, it and it will touch, sell. Move touch, it. touch, 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 touch. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> uh, let's go to another fire, fire sale and box FF. All right, in here you're also, looking for... Also, I have a question. Yes. Do you other resellers, do you flatten the boxes to store them <laughs> or do you leave them whole and in the way everywhere? A lot of resellers. Donna hates it that I leave all these boxes stacked like this, but the reason I do it because I can look at it and know if it'll work for uh, for the next item that I ship or not. Now, what she would like me to do is to flatten them and store them all like this. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's kind of dark, but you know what happens? I don't want to go through those and pull them out and keep searching for something that works, so I go find something else. So basically, if I flatten the boxes out, I ain't going to use them. But you put them in, in the order, like size them together, like you do books on a bookshelf. So you can go tallest to smallest. Sounds like a lot of extra work just to make a prettier floor. Um, someday when Donna takes over shipping, she can flatten all the boxes out. But until then, Or when this is we, what get we get a warehouse. Uh, no, no warehouse. 
All right, plastic bag. <laughs> there, I'm poo pooing her dreams again. Plastic bag right by your hand. There's a. This is a 1985 Transformers uh, fire truck from the Fire Buy. And this, it's in kind of a little bit of rough shape, but it sold for $25 and it is going to Tennessee. The original Transformers are usually a good pickup, right? Absolutely, they are. Yes. Yeah. And it was missing a couple, uh, it was missing a missile and a hand, I think, or something. It was missing like a part or two, and it's a little bit beat up. So that's why it wasn't more, but still 25 bucks. We'll take it. All right, Donnie, you're the queen of breakables. Go to box 61. I think this is something that's Ow. been careful of the boxes that are flattened. You see that? You could put them out of the way. <laughs> I think this has been on a long time. This is an antique creamer and sugar set we'll go so, ahead and get those out that's not a creamer set but look what it is <laughs> it's a chicken it is a chicken it's a big with chicken. egg yes so it must be the yellow bag looky there all right i was very concerned when this sold because this is on clearance and it sold for only nine dollars. I was very concerned that this was like a full size casserole dish. Oh, and I was like, it's I got sugar and cream. Yeah, so. I was thinking it was like this big, and I was gonna have to ship these for a nine dollar sale. This sold for only nine dollars, and it's going to North Carolina. But yeah, I can definitely ship these, they're small. Yeah, okay. We have a couple different sales that are on the shelf from Firehouse, like lighted, lighted firehouses. Okay. Let's grab both of those. We have two of these. These are the posable dream or possible dreams. Are they cloth teak? Yeah, let's post, pop a picture up just to show. We're okay, not going to get Okay, because they're brand out. new. We have two of these. Yeah, so there's another one still listed. And then the Saturday evening post lighted firehouse. This one here sold for $25 and it's going to Missouri. Okay. And the other one, that crinkle claws, that one sold for $23 and it's going to Missouri also. Nice. Different person though. Nice. All right, box 82. I don't know if you can tell, Donna can tell, I don't know if the people can tell, we're really discombobulated today. It's kind of all over the place. Well, welcome to our life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're looking for an ashtray, that box, the red box right there. This is a vintage Phillips 66 farm tire ashtray. Look at that, that came from the salvage yard in Utica Buy. And that sold for $45 and it's going to Tennessee. That is nice. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at things and I'm I, I was gonna try to get something else in that room for it instead of doing it in order like we usually do. I'm just my brain is kind of all over the place today. I don't know why, but yeah, it's kind of wonky. I thought I grabbed stuff from the garage and I forgot something out there. It's just all over the place. Yeah, so, you all think that he's he's like all organized. put together and no, stuff. She Are you gonna cut this out? No, this ain't cutting out. Yeah, they need to know that I'm a mess. He's crazy. I'm a mess. Do you want to hear a story yet or not? Do we ever have a choice? <laughs> we always have a choice. <laughs> Let's do a couple more things here before we get to another like story time one. Uh, let me do something that... Nothing is fun. Everything is fun. Let me grab the thing outside in the box. I'm going to show them the outside. Here we go. Yo. He's also a mess because I had this all nice and neat right here and here. And he pulled it all out to take pictures and well, he put nothing back. Okay, to be fair. No, it's not this fair. This is on dollar auction. This is on dollar auction. This shelf is on dollar auction. So they're all going away. Then put it back. No. Uh, inbox 84. Give me some lights. Look, you guys. It's so clean. I worked through a ton of stuff. He worked through some stuff. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I worked through a ton of stuff. He worked through some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not going to take this out of the wrapper. Fun story. This was Donna again, just driving me absolutely up the wall. But you're welcome. But it's because I love her, and it's because she's right a lot. They had these; these are glass ornaments. Here's a picture of this glass ornament right here. And I had these sitting on the table, and I was just gonna put them on dollar. And she's like, 
those aren't worth anything and i'm like no because i was just in a mood that was like a week ago i was in a mood i'm like whatever i'm just gonna get rid of them and so i'm like okay and so then because she said that i'm like i probably need to look it up because i looked it up but i didn't find anything and i thought it's just a glass ornament whatever why bother so then i looked on worth point doing my due diligence and i was sitting here worth point is our friend yes we do pay for worth point like 27 28 dollars a month but we use it a lot so i found this on worth point so i set them off to the side and i kind of was like huh, whatever roll your and eyes she's again like, do it roll, roll your eyes again i don't think i did <laughs> and she's like what and i'm like nothing and she's like what and i'm like you're right <laughs> and i'm like they're worth listing I didn't know if they'd sell or not. And it sold the same day, didn't it? But so these, no. Within 24 it, it might, hours. Yeah, within 24 hours. I listed, we have two of these. And they are December Diamonds uh, ornaments. And it sold for $19.99 plus shipping on top. So Donna was right again. And we still have another <laughs> one. But don't tell her she was right. Don't tell her she's right that much. We don't want her ego to get too big. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's do something. What was that saying again? So, let's do something. What was that saying again? Let's do something pretty. <laughs> Donna was right. Yes, Donna was I right. I love it when I'm right. All right, right. Go to box 18. Okay. All right, in here in box 18, there is a little red bird. This was picked by our friend Ruth. She's a good picker. Oh my goodness, you guys. These guys, these little red birds. You see the bluebirds a lot, you know, at estate sales and whatever. And they're worth some some money too. But these little cardinals, look, he's Amberina. Yep. And look, he's also, can you see the bottom? Probably not, but we're gonna try. Can you, can you get it to, it's signed, the picture. He's beautiful. Yes, and he sold for $24.99 and he's going to Florida. He's going to fly to Florida. He's gorgeous. All right, you put that back and grab box 34. Don't tell me what to do. I'm going to tell you. Oh. Move this thing. This is something Donna picked up for 25 cents at a garage sale. You're looking for a stone carved tea light holder. That ain't it. <laughs> still, oh! Oh my goodness! Oh, it's big and heavy? Yep. Go figure. Oh my, that thing's huge. So, we went to a garage sale and this little lady had just a table of odds and ends. But look at this. Isn't she unusual? Wow, that's cool. And it's kind of a plasticky, maybe an old time resin, maybe bagel, I don't know. Is it heavy? Yeah, it looks heavy. it's heavy. And it, it has the candles and they go right here. That's pretty cool. But it's called a water nymph. Yes, stone carved it says, tea light holder. So that sold, Donna got for a quarter. And that sold for $37 and it's going to Michigan. Yeah. Very cool find. Oh, okay. Now the box is much lighter. Box Z. Z. All right, in here you're gonna bring back a lot of memories with this, but people that watch this, there's gonna a lot of people that are gonna see this and they're gonna be like, holy crap, I remember those. Sure. Aluminum. Ooh, I know what it is. Also in this box. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> All right, let's take these out and then we'll show them out of the packaging. All right, here's what we got. Anybody remember these? They're individually wrapped, so she's gonna not gonna Pop unwrap up them a picture. All. But they're the aluminum cups from way back in the day. Remember these at Grandma's house? Yep. Yeah. And there's a bunch of different colors, and they sold for twenty four ninety nine. And they're going to Emmy, Maine. Yeah. Emmy, is that Maine? Yeah. Okay, Maine. <laughs> Somebody did comment on a video and told us that Ottawa. The capital. That Ottawa is in Ontario, and it is the capital of Canada. I think they said. No. That's what they said it was the capital. Maybe it's the capital of Ontario. Yes. But they did say that, and I was like, "Cool, thanks for the information," because we don't know geography. 
Somebody's probably gonna correct us. That's okay. We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so, we know where Nebraska is, <laughs> and we know where the post office is. I have been there. I took a bus there to see a boy when I was young, and it was a fun trip. Okay. <laughs> She just said in the last video it was not a fun trip. She did not enjoy it. Once I got to the city, it was. It was oh. nice at the city in the city. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Let's get back to work, Donna. All right, Donna's rambling too much. Let's make her work again. <laughs> Box 108. Yes. All right, Donna wants to know about principal. We're talking principal. We have an item. <laughs> we have an item. She said to film this. Okay, let me see. We're kind of all is. over the place anyway. I don't think I can pull it up now because. What was it, though? Okay, we're going to argue about principle here. Donna wants to argue about a dollar, and I don't. Well, I don't want to argue. I just so, don't understand. Okay, so, okay, so here's here, the item. Here's the item. It's $29.99. It is a vintage little action figure, fire person action figure. And the sell is good. I don't I don't remember what the sell through is, but it's listed for $29.99. Yeah. We sent out offers, so they're probably a 10% offer, so it's probably an offer for $27. Mm -hmm. They counter offered to $20. So we didn't like that so we counter offered again at 25. Okay? 24.99 i sent 25. oh you sent 25. i sent 25. and then they just countered 24 dollars. come back over here and state your argument well i thought you did what i told you to and i told you to do 24.99 actually what she said was I said no. Go back 25, and then she said 24.99 as I was typing in the 25, and I don't really care about the penny. Yeah, but see, that's what I thought. So that's why coming back at 24 dollars seems silly. But now I guess since you did 25, they wanted an extra dollar, so, so they did 24. So I told her I was taking the 24 because I'm like, whatever, I'm not gonna argue it for a dollar. And she's like, no, go 25, and I'm like. I'm not going to counter a dollar. Like, I don't care that much. And so she she says, get the camera. Let's let's ask them. Yeah, so what would you guys do? Okay, this question is for the resellers, not the buyers. So as a buyer... <laughs> the buyers will all say, take it. The buyers take would the say, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep my dollar. But I get it because okay. I would be a buyer too. But, I mean... <sighs> okay, the reason why... The reason why I think they countered to 24 instead of 25, we have shipping. Anything that's under a pound or whatever, we just have flat 550 shipping. And I think they wanted to just keep the price under $30. So if they took 25, the price would be $30.50. If we took 24, then it's $29.50. That's the only thing that kind of makes sense to me. And I, I understand that. I appreciate that. Not a big deal. So we took that. We'll be getting that out in the box if they pay for it soon and showing it to you. But for now, we did not haggle over one dollar. Don't think I'm bad. I just like I came down five dollars. I thought that was good, and it still wasn't good enough. I'm, I'm, I didn't understand. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's all good. Speaking of that, one of the items we're going to show here a little bit. We've never gotten so many offers on a single item ever before. And then we listed it last night, and we had 10 different offers. And we're going to talk about that here in just a minute. But first, first let's this, do this. This one right here. Back in the olden days, this is what they canned with, apparently. Yeah, it's a canning crock. This came from the Salvage Yard Utica buyout. Yeah. Sold for $22.49, and it's going to Ohio. Nice. All right, let's what go to box E-E. E-E. E-E-E-E-E. Now our viewers think I'm terrible. Viewers, do you think she's terrible? <sighs> do you think she's... Go ahead and trash her in the comments below. No! <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, don't. Don't trash her in the comments below. Uh, in here in E-E, you're looking for a Tupperware item. <laughs> it is a the big thing. That's a horse mug. Oh, it's not a horse mug. Know that. Okay. You're the Tupperware person. You tell us what it is. You know what? A dollar's just a dollar, and now we have a sale, so whatever. <laughs> and I sold these all the time for $14.99, and I took an offer for this one for $12.99. $12. Dollars. 12 <laughs> There's another dollar off. <laughs> $12 right there. It's going to Minnesota. She bought it for a dollar at a garage sale. It's all good. <laughs> All right, right here in box G, we're gonna look for one of your favorite what things. What is this? Okay, what the, what is this? I'll tell you what this is. I saved pieces of cardboard. Here's some shipping tips, okay? 
I save pieces of cardboard, like if I cut a box down or something, I save those pieces because then if I get like a soft book... Did you book, throw my bags away? No, listen to me. I'm giving a shipping tip for when I'm gone next time. For example, I'm going to show you an example. This is a soft cover book. We have a lot of books that are now hardcover. And so if I save those pieces because when I ship this, I'll put this in a bubble mailer as long as it's not too expensive. And then I'll put a piece of cardboard with it. Now this piece of cardboard doesn't fit exactly. It's too small. It's too small, but that's what I do. I find a piece of cardboard that's the right size and I put it with that and then put it in a bubble mailer just to keep it firm. Okay, fine. Stick around for more shipping tips from Happy Heart Treasures. <laughs> All right, here's Jim Shore ornament right here. Oh this came from Giles. That was a clean out that we did like two years ago. Oh, yeah, great, no, uh -huh. great clean out. $9.34. It was a buyout, not a clean out. It was a buyout. It was a lot of work. He about had a heart attack that yes, day. Very, very hard work. Um, Up a straight up hill. And it was kind of an expensive buyout, but it turned out to be really worth it. And that little sucker sold for $9 and some cents in Illinois it's going to. <laughs> See, it's been one of those mornings. <laughs> tell you what. All right, in here, it's not the Barbie. Look how holiday Barbie, your little girl needs this. Yeah, she's a listed. It'd be great to get her going. She takes up a lot of space. <gasps> this one's cute too. Yeah, this sold right here. Uh, sold for $17.09, and it is going to Georgia. She is very cute, or he. It. it. Let's call the kids it's. <laughs> Don't you like my arrangement? No! All right, box LN. This just sold. We thought it was that action figure guy, but it wasn't. They haven't paid yet, so we're not going to get that out unless they pay. This just sold. It is that Bendham's right there. No. Yes. Yes. Sorry, I'm a mess. No, it's yes, this right no, here. Yes, no, yes. <laughs> this came from a storage unit and it got sold for seven dollars twenty-two cents and it's going to California. I bet that's a stocking stuffer. And maybe it is. I bet so. It's time to get Christmas shopping done. We should shop our own store for Christmas. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> get us giving kids all like gifts from our boxes. Yes. A uh, yellow helmet right there from the fire buy. Obviously, this is a little fire helmet and trading card set. This sold for twenty-five dollars, and it is going to North Carolina. Nice. All right, we only have one more item. This is going to be controversial, and as we tell this story, <gasps> oh, maybe not. Another cha ching here. Let's check that out. Aren't you glad I didn't turn my phone off? <laughs> All right, before we talk about this controversial item, let's pull out that uh, little action figure. Look at this box has been reused many times. Yep. So we're looking for the little action figure right there. And it's sold for $24, much to the chagrin of my wife. It's okay. <laughs> $24. I, I thought it was bigger. And it's going to Kentucky. Well, then that's very okay. Yeah, we like Kentucky. Who's it going to in Kentucky? Uh, somebody named Dennis. Okay, Dennis. Yeah. Enjoy. All right, now unless something else sells, this is the last item. Controversial <laughs> item. We're going to get a range of answers. If people comment, I want you to comment. I want you to tell us what you would have done. And we're going to tell you what we did. So at a garage sale, I picked up this little Zippo lighter. A lot a of Zippos. A long time ago. Yeah, a long time ago. And it was just sitting in the bottom of a box. I picked it up for a dollar. I didn't think nothing of it. I've seen it a couple times and just put it off because a lot of time, there's a lot of Zippos that aren't really worth much. And I'll just put them on the dollar auction and get a couple bucks for them. Because they're Zippos. Um, but this one, I pulled well, it out last me. night. It's actually copper. It's copper and it's stamped. Let me see. Uh, C03. You, there ain't no way that's showing up. Be uh, still. Be still. Be still. Be still, my beating heart. CO3 copper Zippo. I didn't think nothing of it. I looked it up, and there was only one like one listed. And there's I looked on Worth Point, and a lot of these have sold. Apparently, this is a thing. That's a thing. So the one that <laughs> sold, there was one listed really high. I don't remember how much, but there was one that sold. And it sold on auction for $61.99, I think. So I'm like, wow, that's a thing. I got it for a dollar. So what I did, I put it on Buy It Now, and I put it at $75. 
mentally, my thinking was, if I get more than $61, I'll be happy. Like, I I get 60 bucks, like, I'm happy. But I'm trying to get 65 is kind of my goal in my head. But I don't really care that much. Like, the results I found on WorthPoint kind of, you know, settled that, like, okay, it's in the 60 to $70 range. I'm going with whatever. So I listed at 75 and I put it on. And within the first 30 seconds, we had an offer. That offer was for, I think, $35. And I'm like, whatever. I just, I'm going to ignore that offer. I'm just going to let it sit there. A lot of times we get offers, we let them sit. And we just wait because you have 24 hours to accept or not. So I, I let it sit. And within the first two hours, all right, Donna's arm was getting tired. So, we had to, so I used to do this thing when I was little. I wonder if I can still do it. When you were little? You mean when, when you was, were 20 and not as when, big as you are now? When I was a kid and I was a smoking kid, I'd pop it and it opened the Zippo. But anyway, oh my goodness. Um, can't do it now. It's been too long. So, <laughs> sorry, I digress. So I've listed it for $75. Within two hours, we had 10 offers. And the highest one was 65, I think 65. So I'm okay with $65. How much do I want to push it? I, I asked a... You just went back on what you said. You said, I'll be good if I get over $61.99. Yeah. Yeah, and you weren't good. So I was good, but I had all these offers. Like. So you're as greedy as me for an extra dollar. So, yes, I'm being greedy, maybe. Maybe. My question is, if you listed this for $75, sales history shows it sold for $61 or $62, whatever, and you got 10 offers in, what would you do? What would you do, Donna? Take it. She said take it. I should have said take it for this guy too because I was being mean. <laughs> so what did it, we let him sit and then last night, now we had a kind of a, what we felt was a slower sales weekend. I mean, we got a lot of stuff here, but we listed a lot of stuff. I think it was slower because this last week during the week, we didn't list very much because we were gone for a few days. So we think it does slow down things or whatever. So we were like, really kind of wanting sales, you know what I'm saying? So what I did, I countered everybody. I left, <laughs> I left the highest one, which was 65. I countered everybody else's 70. A few people countered back lower again, and I then I would commented and I said, "What's she doing? I can't see what she's doing. I don't trust that woman right there. She's dangerous." <laughs> and I countered everybody at 70, and then after they countered again, I said, uh, "I said." I will not, you know, 70s is as low as I'll go because I already have an offer close to that. And nobody came back at the 70. I could have let it sit. It probably could have, I could have sat, I could have declined all the offers and eventually it'd probably sell at 75, but I wanted a sale. So what would you do? So what happened was somebody then counter offered and I got a $68 offer. So then I went to the $65 offer and I think I countered them $70. So I wanted to give them a chance if they wanted it. And I think they declined it. So at that point, I said, you know what? I'm actually haggling over $2 here. So I, <laughs> so I took the $68. <laughs> what would you have done? A lot of people are going to say, I would have sat on it and not take offers, and you would have got 75 Probably true. A lot of people would say, like I think Donna was telling me yesterday, just take the 65 You paid a dollar for it. Who cares? Yeah, and we needed to get the store going. Maybe you're the reason the store isn't going as fast as I would like it to be because we listed over 100 items in the last three days. And that's 100 good items, not just 100 oh, junks. Oh, you almost did I'm going to quit. So anyway, what would you do? Would you, have, would you have not even put offers on? Would you have auctioned it off? I don't think... That's the, I don't, I don't like Comment the Comment down below. Things. Comment down below. How bad did we screw that up? Did we screw ourselves out of $7? No. Or whatever. Anyway, that's it. That's the last <laughs> thing. <laughs> I'm, like and subscribe. Share with your friends. It helps us build the channel. I and apologize. if you want to support us in any way, shape, or form, we don't have a buy it coffee or anything like that set up. But buy a coffee cozy for your friends or washcloths or <laughs> afghans know. or something. <laughs> you know what? We just sold something else. Oh, okay. Pause. No. Nope. What did we sell? Um, I don't even want to tell her on camera. Tell me. You remember the story about her being right? You sold another. I sold the other ornament. ornament. <laughs>
<laughs> so, so I was going to discard them and put them $1, and there's $40. Okay. Thanks to her. Here's here's a Thanks to my lovely, <laughs> lovely wife I love so much. <laughs> okay. Here is a, um, a poll. A poll? Yeah. Who do you viewers like better? No, you can't do that because you're winning a landslide. <laughs> okay. For two reasons. Number one, she's better. I agree with that. Oh, just knocked me out of the screen. <laughs> Number one, she's better, I'm and she's more fun. I'm only better because of you. We're rambling, and if you're still watching, you're awesome. Yeah. But she's she's better, she's more fun. I'm more like, I'm the poo-pooer, and I'm more like analytical about things. She's just more fun and free-spirited. And number two, when somebody asks who they like better between the guys and the girls, most people are going to pick the girl. You always have to say the girl, girl because like, she'll cry if you don't. Yeah, you don't want to hurt her feelings. I already yeah. told you to trash her in the comments, but <laughs> let's not do that. Anyway, I'm Donna. <laughs> I'm Steve. <laughs> and we're happy our treasures. I'm kind of sorry for this video, no, but I'm not because you know awesome. what? This is who we are. Yes. Like it or leave it, but hit the subscribe button on your way out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. You're the best. Get your pin on the map. Yes. All right, cool. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.